Welcome back to episode 47. In the previous episode, the car was at Bingley Hall for the 2023 Mini Fair. The suspension fitted was brand new, and whilst at the show we had to lower it completely just so that it looked alright on the stand. New suspension can take a while to settle, and regular adjustment is sometimes necessary until the cones are seated properly. But by the end of the day it had settled quite a lot, and was almost touching the arches and needed to be raised, not only because it would look better, but also for safety and drivability reasons. I was asked at the show if there was any chance of doing a video of showing how to adjust them. I said I'd see what I can do, but the problem for me was that I didn't actually know how to adjust them. For reference, the suspension that I have is the Adjuster Eye Suspension from Minisport. There are several companies who have a similar product, but I bought these over the others as they looked a little bit thicker and hopefully that means stronger and more reliable, but I guess only time will tell. In addition to the Adjuster Rides, I haven't gone fancy with the initial suspension setup. Trying to suss out what shocks and cones to use seems to be a complicated process. So in the end I just went with some standard Bill Stein non-adjustable shocks and standard mini sport cones. And it's quite a nice comfortable ride if I'm honest. We fitted all of the suspension during the rebuild of the car. The front adjuster rides were fitted with the front subframe out of the car. and the rear adjuster rides were fitted once the rear subframe had been fitted to the body. You can see here how low the suspension has dropped and this is with the suspension at the lowest setting which isn't ideal for driving. But after being given a quick lesson, I found out that adjustment is a fairly simple process and something that I should be able to manage on my own. Now, although I was shown what to do, I did actually forget a few things and made a few mistakes that I had to go back and sort out. But that's all part of the learning experience, I guess. And why I always say my videos aren't designed to be tutorials, just videos of me working on the car and learning as I go along. But hopefully this video does give a little insight into what's involved in adjusting the suspension. It may be that others do it different to what I'm doing here, and I guess the same can be said for many jobs on a Mini. First thing was to get the car raised off the floor. Note to self, I need to get myself one of these low entry jacks. It was really easy to use and much better than the jack that I currently own. Ideally you might chop the wheels and jack and pack the car for safety as it's raised. I removed the wheel nuts carefully with a battery drill for speed as they weren't on tight or torqued up yet so they came off fairly easy. Now you can see the suspension is set up at its lowest setting here. The idea is to wind the threads out and then hold everything in place by tightening up the lock nut. The spanners I was using here were a pair of 26mm spanners, but although I haven't checked it, I think the actual recommended size is a pair of 1 inch spanners. I'm not sure if setup is trial and error or whether there's some system to working out how much to turn the nuts, but for now I just had to get the car driving so I could get it home. Initially I just went with the rear set to 3 threads showing and that seemed to work quite well. It's worth double checking everything is in place before putting the wheel back on as parts can move when the adjustment nuts have been slackened off. Now this is where I made a few mistakes but I have since rectified them. I also wasn't sure of the torque settings for the wheels and couldn't find the info anywhere. So as they were rose petal wheels, I sent Swift Tune a quick email and they kindly replied with some really useful info for fitting them. Electric nut guns need to be used with care. I'm inexperienced with them, so for me, I'll not be using them to refit the wheels. I was to place each bolt on with the fingers, threading a little bit at a time whilst wobbling the wheel to ensure that everything lines up, and then only torque everything up once all the bolts are nipped up. Copper slip was to be applied to the threads in the bolt and torque settings I think are 43 to 45 foot pounds.
One thing I'd forgot to do. I hadn't used the longer bolts with the spacers and had to swap them later on, but it was an easy job to do once I got home. Fortunately I'd put the spacers on the right way around, so it was just a case of swapping one nut at a time and then retorquing. The front suspension is slightly different as they don't have the long bars like the rear suspension do. But the principle is still the same. It's just a case of winding the nut and nipping up the lock nut. I went round and I adjusted all four sides and I'll drive it for a bit, let it settle and adjust everything again with a little bit more precision until I get it spot on. I seem to remember seeing a height setting guide in one of Minisport's blog posts, so I'll just cross reference that at some point. But all in all, it's a fairly easy job to do and just requires a few basic tools and a bit of time and patience. <laughs> 